damage spells in the early game if he's able to get it at a decent timing. And I've seen Jabs as this nature's prophet really own. I mean, Jabs is just having a phenomenal tournament, and he's just this team has been on the up and up. Every single tournament that I've seen them throughout this year, they just look better and better and better. And they've got a draft that they're that they're comfortable with. And looking at sort of the, the, you know, the two final picks, who do you think is going to be a little happier with that outcome? The, the fact that, you know, Fnatic first, pick up the, the OD themselves, and then in response, Fiji Gaming, they, they end with that Viper. Uh, and the OD provides them some extra, like, save and all that. Um, I, I overall, I do like Fnatic's draft just a little bit better here. Fiji just seems a little bit awkward, just with this, uh, the Venge, the Viper, and the Terrorblade cores. It, just, it seems like they're going to have a really hard time just taking any fights. If they, if they get slowed down in this laning phase, I don't see them being able to take any team fights versus the side of Fnatic. They have to pretty much snowball lanes, get some aggressive towers down, have a gold advantage to be able to take the fights versus Fnatic. Sure, yeah, because there's, uh, there's just not what a lot of spread damage on VC Gaming's heroes. It's going to be yeah. like, we target this hero, we kill this hero, then we move on to this one, then it's, this one. Whereas, it's all single target, yeah, pretty Fnatic much. can just run in, and as you say, Iron Shells, the, the Flame Guard, the, the stuns for the Nyx Assassin, it's going to be laid out everywhere. Yeah. They're definitely going to have that that team fight advantage. Is P Vici, maybe they can play at that fast pace. That's the one thing I do see. Their only long cooldown is really what Serpent Wards and the uh, the meta. I guess you could say would be the long their long cooldown spells. On Fnatic, there the thing is that they can also match that aggression. I look at their lineup. Sure, they have strong team fight, but it's not like they're super reliant on any of their ultimates. OD ult is their biggest one. The rest of them, they're just going to be playing around Ion Shell, playing with that aggression with their double Ion Shell, the Ember, as well as that Nyx Assassin, making moves out. See VG Gaming. We'll to start with grabbing the, the three of the bounty runes. Okay. And as these lanes set out, we'll see how things start off here. Three bounty runes equal 65% win rate. So, yeah, quite a quite a swing. Right, just that little small more sort of play, but the early little uh, little uh, sort of drops can turn into to a big waterfall. Oh. Top. So nice so DJ. You look oh, to run DY. down DY. The body blocks as well with these treants. That'll do it. I Very nicely done there with the control. I don't believe they expected uh, the tri lane to be up here. I think they only expected to be two heroes. They wanted to get the first meta and just kill the dark the, the creeps coming in past the tower. They can keep uh -oh. this pressure on. Another stun there onto Paparazzi. Paparazzi's dead as well. There's a double kill for Ice Ice Ice. DY, he's been trapped up by the trees. He's starting to tick down to the Iron Shell. DJ and Jabs are very low. So is Ice Ice Ice. Paparazzi's back in the lane. Ice 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 will salve up in the trees. Jabs, he's turning, punching into DY. One more touch would do it. He's got the trees on him. Can the trees finish this? Get off the cat. They do, the brace doesn't block him. <laughs> oh, they're able to reach around it and get a third kill. This, uh, this, this Trilink definitely caught them off guard. They were <laughs> they were definitely not aware that the three heroes were going to be here right away. It's an Ember Spirit now versus a Bounty Hunter down bottom. So Yang is going to get a lot of farm down here. And he can he can actually put a bit of pressure here too. He's actually gone for the Shadow Walk at level two. I've seen a couple of times when uh, I think Zai was playing, he's actually gone for the Shuriken. You just get in, you just you spam the Shuriken in the laning phase. And it's, it's pretty mana efficient for how much damage it really does. 150 at level one. We'll see how well MP is able to lane against him. He does have, obviously, the, the nature's profit around the map. If Yang at any point gets too aggressive, you can't expect global teleport reaction. Yeah. And this mid lane, we'll see who sets, uh, sets ahead of the other. Six for one. Well, six for two, five for two. Very close at the start between the Viper and the OD. Yeah, trade farm. Viper might be able to get a little bit more because he can back up and do the neutrals with that Nether Toxin, as we see. He'll probably just spam Nether Toxin, push the wave out, go to jungle, and he'll maybe get a little bit more out of it. Depending on how the denies, of course, go from that OD if he's able to secure them under another toxin. Yeah, but it really feels like the, the map pressure from Fnatic is is going to be very strong in the sort of in the early half of the game to to the point where it, it, how likely is it that this Terra Blade finds anywhere safe in the jungle to farm without any sort of threat of invasion? There's going to be a point right where this Prophet and Nyx Assassin are just constantly hunting him down. Yeah, I think keeping Tier 1s... We've already talked about how important keeping those Tier 1s alive. In this game, I think it's just that much more, because if those invasion plays start happening, Fnatic gets these ward downs, yeah, Paparazzi's going to have very limited space to actually get that farm on the map. As the bottom lane goes, as you say... Seems to be a, a trade here, very evenly between MP and Yang. Yep. MP starting to, once he starts, go, you know, Jab shows his face. Yang plays a little bit more careful. And Jab's able to make these pulls, mm -hmm. control of the wave. Notice that there's going to be no interruption with the, the lane being just a solo bounty, as it is for now. The uh, majority of focus from VG Gaming supports being around this top half of the map, making sure the Paparazzi's lane and area is safe to farm in. 
It's going to hurt their levels a little bit on the supports as they're doing this full defensive trialing. They have to make sure to get those pulls off constantly as sentry for sentry. It's taken out. MP also, he goes to that side, or that secret shop there, picks up a bottle. So now he's going to be able to do better in this, even better in this lane than he already is because he's going to have that extra sustain over Yang. Now Yang continues to poke. Make sure that he gets that financial benefit away from MP. As, yeah, Jabs' levels are going to be strong at the start. Yang's going to come over and uh, take a bit of Jabs' money as well. In the mid lane fade, actually with the haste rune diving in with the shackles, the TP will come through, yeah. Uh, so Fade is trying to finish off Arbor, but he can't quite do so. And now with those TPs, Ori. it's Ori in trouble. DJ with the body blocks will set up for the kill on the Viper. That's the two supports from Fnatic. I mean, Abed wasn't even hitting him at all. It was literally just the Nyx as well as that Nature Prophet. Uh, this Blightstone, that little bit of minus armor that comes into play for those extra right clicks. And I believe I think it was still the Nyx who had Ion Shell on him too. So a little bit of extra damage coming into play there. And that's always that's always what the best thing is about having like, these these Nyxes or Earth Spirits or whatever that you do have with Ion Shell. Because you can just TP and make moves. And even though your hero doesn't provide the most damage, the Ion Shell will assist in that. A very fast-paced reaction to uh, an understandable move there. You, know, you have the haste rune on the Shaman. You yeah. want to dive for that. Runes coming out. We see the bounties in about five seconds. Fnatic trying to make an aggressive stance before they do spawn to guarantee themselves at least two or three of them. Looks like they will be able to get three. And I believe it's MP who fills up his bottle. So that's the stand. He'll always will always be there for him. Fade is there with Yang. See so if they can try for this. They've got the shackles. Do they have the damage? We'll get the flame guard off. But a TP is coming in from the Prophets. So now Fnatic, they can try and beat down onto Yang. Yang will turn again for one more hit. Has got the movement speed to keep himself safe, but MP won't fall. Uh, the backup from Jab's enough to stop VG Gaming committing for the Ember Spirit kill. Yeah, not having a point in chains. Just going for the 0-2-3 build, not the 1-1-1 like, one, 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 or 1-3-1, one, three, one, three, one. just wanted to have this Flame Guard so we can... I, it's, we've been seeing like, Flame Guard more, but yeah, not having chains makes him unable to get that kill there. But he'll be able to farm better because of the high points in Flame Guard. As we see Abed, he's pulled ahead in that mid-matchup, so Viper, because of that gank that got set up, Gets punished quite a bit there. And Paparazzi, even though they had that, you know, that extreme dive that happened up top, he's still able to secure his farm. 36 and 8 on this Terror Blade. And the Darks here, only 16 and 4 in comparison to 24 on the bounty. So Ice 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 is getting slowed a bit there by those denies that's coming out. And all these uh, sort of positioning for DJ being watched at the moment by this wall from VG Gaming. Have they actually stacked any jungle? I've, the thing we used to see a lot with Darkseer is you stack jungle to make sure that you can get these levels from, for to get that high level Ion Shell, and they, they actually haven't this time around. But Ice Ice is still already level 5, so level 3 Ion Shell strong. Bottom. Oh, you get the Shuriken and the Shackles down onto MP. He has got the one charges, though. Not quite enough damage to take him up top. Jabs coming in past the tower here. Ice 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 as well. Looking for the body blocks. TP reactions come out. He'll get the surge away with the darks here. Ice 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 getting beaten down by DY, but will be able to get himself away from the Vengeful Spirit. Jabs will be the new focus. As Ori TP's in for this one, they have to slow and control to take down the Prophet. Ori does have to leave his lane to, to get that kill, and it's just a support kill. So this will open up space in that mid lane for Abed to just continue to free farm on this OD. As soon as they hit the level 5 on the darks here, they tried to make that aggressive play. That level 3 Iron Shell just poses much higher threat. Yeah, they weren't, able, they weren't able to get a rotation from Ori. Definitely helpful, but that makes it even more so that Abed gets more free farm in the mid as he's neck and neck with that Terror Blade. Yang constantly stealing that money. Only has 31 last hits, but not too far behind that Ember Spirit because of just constantly poking him. And now he does have track available. So with the track, with that Blades of Attack, it's a high amount of damage that comes through with the crits. His fade. And he tried to pick up some levels, but instantly able to walk up to the high ground, set up with the Astral. Ori as well, having to be a little careful as they are. Hanging around with that Nyx Assassin towards the mid lane. Bottom, Yang. Got those tracks out now, so he does have to be a little more careful about the way that the bounty can just chase him down and, and beat him down. Pressure continues up top. Ice, Ice, Ice going in, dropping the wall for this one. But these two iron shells, if we can get on top of Paparazzi, I mean, Paparazzi does have thunder. a thunder. Will turn, in fact, with a metamorphosis. Ice, Ice, Ice does have to hide. He'll get himself into the trees at the same time. Yang he gets actually was kill. able to kill off MP. MP must have messed up the players as Yang came a hunting for him in the jungle and finds that pick off on the Ember. I and mean, that's absolutely huge. Now he can look to make moves around the map since he shut down that safe laner. And with that early early level track, level 4 Janata too, his damage is very high with phase boots and a crown. Just those constant critical strikes that come out from your track. Time to get the full use of the Shrine here, Paparazzi Yang. 
And Ori heading over. That's DJ. Let's see if we can set up onto Fade. They've now moved the Ember Spirit up to the top lane. Also TPing in Fade. Trying Oops. to catch a break. The stun will miss. He does get the hex off onto MP, but MP chasing him down. There is reaction. Slide of Fist in the other shot comes out to get the kill, but they've already lost DJ on the Nyx Assassin and Vici Gaming. No should remnants. be able to get more out of this. The track's out onto MP. He committed in deep for that support kill. Looks like he's going to pay off his life as Paparazzi blocks him off. The damage is there. They'll get themselves another VG Gaming starting to already get track kills very early on this game. Yeah, three-man track there as they're also distributing their resources. DY was farming in the mid lane. I says I is going to start cutting down bottom, but yeah, good movements coming out from VG and Yang. Really, I mean, he's really carrying the weight here inside this early game. 1-0-2, great lane matchup too. And just I mean, getting that solo kill on MP, it's going to slow down this Ember so much. Look at his farm. 10 minutes in, almost at level 6 without even phase boots finished. That is not the place that Fnatic wants this Ember Spirit to be as they want to be the ones on the aggressive plays. Yeah, those two back-to-back -back deaths on the bottom and then the top lane really hurting him. Yeah. Sending DJ now toward that mid lane to soak some experience. Wanted to get these level sixes at a decent time. They're going to be late though. We see the level five is already picked up on DY, but the other supports in the game are all level four. As you can already tell, you know, how much of a nuisance this Bounty Hunter's movements are going to be. Yeah. Yang just constantly making Fnatic have to, to be there, prepare jabs, having to react and be there, standing next to any sort of core that is under pressure getting gone on pod. As Yang, up towards the top again, continue to steal the money of MP. It's a lot of damage this Bounty does early on, having the drums. I mean, a couple of hits and MP's down to less than half health. Hey, he's, oh, wow, he's already got phase and drum. Okay, so he's... Much harder to kill too, your movement speed. If you pop that drum and you have the track movement speed, you're, you're almost uh, haste movement speed inside of this early start of the game. And this is one of the first times, like, Jabs is playing a hero that isn't a saver. You know, and pretty much the majority of their games, he's been playing like Oracle, Wyverns, just heroes that can save up his buddies. This one, it's a little bit more of an aggressive play style. Yeah, if anything, the pressure's gonna be on Arbed to, to use that Astro to keep his teammates safe. Yeah, look at him, look at how fast he moves. I mean, following down a surge, Darks here. I mean, he's, he's diving in under the tower. I mean, Yang's just going for it. Does get sprouted, but he cuts his way through. He's he gonna gets get the, the kill. kill. He will fall for it. But I mean, that it's a scary, scary bounty hunter. Yang can just commit, and it doesn't matter if you have surge. He'll just chase you down to the end of the world. Jabs gets a ton of experience from that kill, though. Is the one downside for Vici. Now he's level six on this Nature's Prophet, so that ulti, we were talking about how much damage you can put through. It's only, it's like a thousand HP on a Terror Blade. If they can find these heroes with the Wrath of Nature coming through, Wrath of Nature plus their Vendetta, they can definitely look to set up for some global plays. Well, Funnest place to take that top tier one tower. As you say, this is a game of where those towers are of utter importance for uh, Vici Gaming having this Terror Blade. And you know, any sort of map control that Fnatic can take away from Vici Gaming's half is going to make it that little harder for for Paraprasi's Terrorblade to, to stay at the top. He is there at the moment, of course, after having a very good showing the laning stage with the backup that the supports had. And in fact, at the moment, himself and DY smoking up, looking for, for some action down bottom. So I think he can catch anyone out. Vici Gaming have also got the Rod of Atos finished on Ori's Viper. Got the Vendetta, they've got the Wrath of Nature. They want to set up for Fade as he goes for Ice Ice Ice. Yeah, DJ is he's, here. He's going to get the answer, the stun onto the Ventral Spray. The Nature's Wrath will bounce out, kill off the Shaman. Swaps, they are going to be there for DY getting in. Ice 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 underneath Paparazzi, but Vici Gaming, they've lost two for this. Paparazzi's in trouble as well. They'll chase him down. The Astro from Arbet setting up as Fnatic's around him. DJ's got the stun back up. That's Paparazzi dead as well. As Vici Gaming smoking up the Terror Blade, looking for action, but it ends in disaster as all three heroes die. Yeah, and look how much damage. We were just saying, he got level six because of that kill on the bounty. Look how much that NP ulti did inside of that fight. Pretty much setting up for those kills. Yeah, perfect for bounces. His and that was the meta just used. He literally popped meta right as they got down there, and he dies, and they don't get any tower pressure off of it. DJ. They even used the Serpent once to lose getting everything. a stun land onto Yang. It's a difficult one as well. Jabs is going to TP in because he used the, uh, the Wrath with the Arcane and he's got it up again. It's already there, and the second ult will bounce through. Up against the final touch. That's Yang dead. They're getting and, big, big kills here, Fnatic. And the Wrath of Nature is going to be up again in 40. <laughs> so he's going to be able to make this play again as soon as Vendetta is back D up. It's actually back up already, so they, they're going to be able to make these plays. And he's in full Midas now already. Midas ready to go. Jabs is ready oh to carry. God. This Nature's Prophet's going to start rolling in the gold. I mean, priorities uh, the priorities of farm change when you get that type of... You, know, you get a solo kill experience on a bounty, you get them yourself a double kill afterwards. I thought he'd go for like that book one play that I've seen him. Uh, I've seen a lot of these uh, five Nature's Prophets too, since he was so rich already. But 
opt for the Midas because he just I mean, pretty much had all the gold for it after those kills. And yeah, Serpent Wards used, Meta used in that bottom lane, and they were able to get zero t tower damage on the side of VG because of the response from Fnatic. That is something that they cannot have happen too much for themselves. As they, that's their tower push. If they can't actually set up for those tower pushes and Fnatic can keep pushing them out of it, they're going to be able to just guarantee so much farm on this OD of Abed. Because he's yeah, top of that net worth. Top DJ will show Yang. It's going to be on to him. And just Rav comes out. DJ is actually looking to turn. Can he land the stun? He can. And is there going to be any backup though? He's going to get swapped in deep. The wall has been dropped though. In fact, the losers for the wall will kill off TY. So Fnatic will be able to get a trade in terms of the one for one. TP in for Jabs. Fnatic, they're looking for more. The Sprout is going to block off Yang. Jabs, he's got the Sentry Ward down. They've got the vision required for this bounty hunter, but Ori's killed off too. MP's going to be able to run down with the Flame Guard, the Slider Fist. He'll get themselves the kill on Yang. Ori getting the poison stacked up onto this Ember Spirit. But the, oh, man, he's just killing the other two of them. It's a split fight. But Fnatic, they were able to break apart VG Gaming. It's VG Gaming, they were trying to fight in the lane, fight in the jungle, but Fnatic, they were just able to overrun them in two separate parts of the map. They were actually so close to dying, the both of them there, if they didn't get the kills exactly at that moment. It's perfectly done by them, and yeah, this is big swing of momentum there for them as Abed now will pick up a Blink Dagger. And that's again, now Serpent Wards were used. This time, again, this time it's not hitting a tower at all. This time it's used inside of a team fight. So we see those three towers of Fnatic all still standing. Yeah, and against the lineup with not just the Serpent Wards, but also this Tower Blade with Meta. That's, yeah. you know, that's, that's a good standing to not have lost any of those tier ones at 15 minutes in. For sure, especially when your, your team fight is very limited. So if you start losing this map control and Fnatic's able to dictate the pace, they're going to be the ones bringing the fights to you. And yeah, their, their fight is just not nearly as strong. VG Gaming, they're out, ready to strike once more with the smoke, rotating around towards the mid lane. They're looking to try and get a catch to see if they can find anyone. They've got the track out onto Jabs. Arbed as well there, hanging around the mid. He's under the tier one tower. DY's gonna head in. They get the track, the swap back straight away with the hex and the stun out onto this OD. He's in a lot of trouble and Arbed's dead. The track out onto Jabs, they'll chase down a second. VG Gaming with a successful smoke will find both of the kills they were hunting. Very nicely done there. DY actually using the Wave of Terror first to make sure that... Oh, the stun! stun has got DY. Again, DJ will be able to at least find a something, but still, VG Gaming, they'll be fine with this. They get Arbed off the map. That OD is a big kill to find. It's opening up this bottom lane. A lot of space for Paparazzi to move down onto the bottom. Metamorphosis. Party's is going to look to take this tier one tower, and he'll have no trouble doing it on his own with the damage output he has. So Paparazzi continuing to roll on with that net worth. Now they've got a mech on the Viper, so that's the unit that they can rally around for that team fight. And that was, that was such a good play there by them, because sure you're going mid, you're not getting the tower mid, but you force the reaction, and that allows Pop Rides to take it, and you get track kills. So with a, with a lineup with Bounty Hunter, you know, sometimes sometimes we say the kills aren't worth it, but with Bounty, it's always worth it to go for those. The chains. Onto Ori. Ori does have three surrounding him. They're going to drop the wall down. Moving with the vacuum. They're trying to focus this fight, but they'll get the stun off. They're moving Control. in as well with the OD. The Serpent Wars have been dropped down. Defensive Astral onto the Ember Spirit. Can MP get himself out of here? He's got one more slide of fist. He's got a remnant out as well. We'll be able to jump back to the safety of his team. They'll put the drums and get out of there. Yang trying to chase down. But Fnatic, they'll stick together. Turn around with the slide. Again, the stun's landed. They do get the dust out onto Yang, but Yang's back up to the high ground. But it's straight in with a blink carpet. He wants to finish off the kill. Goes up to the high ground. They're on top of Yang. Yang's going to shoot. Surely fall, pops the stick charges, the mech, not enough to save, and Sanity's Eclipse is down. Swap will be there from DY to save Ori, but it cost him his life. As VG Gaming losing these skirmishes against Fnatic. They reset and ran away. Their Serpent Wars were already committed. The, the uh, Metamorphosis went down too. Fnatic just back up, reset the fight with that MP being able to disengage. And yeah, Abed with that aggressive blink forward. I think he had, what, 30 or 40 int maybe, I think at some point, or 20 something int before he gets that hammer off. And thank God that DY is there to get that save on the Viper, because that could have been a full blown disaster for VG. This wall inside the fights is something you really can't ignore because they they have these auras. You know the Venge, if he does clip the uh, the Venge or he clips the, even the Terror Blade, like this this illusion is very threatening. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, man, to now. And DJ with a, a full spirit vessel on the uh, Nix Assassin, so an extra hefty bit of damage ready to offer. He's been landing some very hard to hit stuns too. Yeah, against these, you know, super speedy Yang with yeah. the phase drums, it's not an easy hero to catch with that stun. Yeah, and in the later stages too, we're gonna... You know, Slacks was the one mentioning that they don't really have the most combos coming into play here, but they do have the vacuum into Nick stun. It's something that can definitely be executed by this lineup. 
if they want to be able to go for it in the later stages. Hangs out. Vision onto MP. Fades there as well. They're going to put the dust though. They know Yang's about. DJ's looking to try and land the stun. Won't land it this time. They'll be the chance for Fade to turn around with a hex slider. Fist comes out to three of them. The vacuum into the wall holds them back for now. VG Game will still try and step forward. They get the Viper Strike down onto DJ. Back towards the river. Arbet focuses down on Yang. The bounty hunter's got it. Oh, he's DJ. isolated. He's still alive. He's able to walk this off. The damage from Ori was not enough to kill off. The DJ is now. They'll turn. Serpent once again being committed. Jazz will start to take them down. Slider Fist and Chains catches on to DY. The DUI gets Ori and Fade back up to the high ground. Astral keeping Jab safe from the ward, but the Ether Shock is there. Fade has the reach with that Ether Lens to burst down the Prophet. That looked a bit scary there for Ori for a second, but they're able to get that great swap by DUI and just be able to get him the hell out of there. Paparazzi showed up like he wanted to maybe take that fight, but... We'll see this once more again, the, the start of this fight. You know, DJ trying his best, but you see just how speedy Yang is duking it all out. As soon as the walls drop, though, they have this potential to, to you know, turn the fight around. Or he commits a lot on DJ, but DJ, he gets away. That mech pop from Ice 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 keeps him safe. And again, the fight a little too broken up from VG Gaming. Yeah, they pretty much, like, they called, I think they called Paparazzi over because they're like, oh, God, this might actually be a fight we have to take because Ori's in a, in a bit of a bad spot. But Fade coming in clutch with those Serpent Wards to kind of split the fight up and scare Fnatic a bit here from stepping forward. And here's still sort of another Serpent Wards that's forced down. Fnatic, they're able Again. to farm pretty much the entirety of those wards out. That's, a, you know, that's a lot of money. They farmed at wow. least, I want to say, at least two of the full sets of the Serpent Wards because they got the bottom one and they got that one. The mid one, I don't think they actually got to be able to farm. But, yeah, Fade not able to get as much tower pressure that he wants to off that because the fast-paced Fnatic is setting. They're constantly making the moves around, not letting VG set up and go for those tower pushes. Still, though, despite how fast Fnatic is playing across the map, Paparazzi is not, not showing any sort of signs of pressure. He's there at the top, continuing to have a very smooth game on this Terra Blade. The BKB coming in very shortly on top of the Manta. And at that point, he will be returning, you know, turning up to any sort of fight that started. If he gets in the midst of it all with the BKB popped and the Metamorphosis, he can strike back hard. Towards the mid, Astral setup will be there. DJ does follow in with the stun, but the swap's there from DY. Gets Fade back out of safety. Goes for the magic missile, but the spike cap has caused the issue again. Vacuum from my side, side, dragging Fade and DY back into the wall. Arbet's been Viper Strike defensively. Astral's himself. Fiji Gaming, they've lost the two supports. Ori gets Carapace. And they're going in for more. MP jumps in with the remnants on top of Ori. Ori dead as well. Fnatic continuing to play at this fanatical pace. 2K lead 23 to 12. It's not the biggest of leads in net worth because of the fact that Paparazzi is still farming well. He's still keeping himself out of all of these fights, and he needs to, as I say. Yeah. 500 gold, BKB will be there. Then he can start thinking about turning up and trying to, you know, ideally pop the meta and just punch into this OD. They have to get Arbed out of the fights because at the moment, Arbed, he's just getting free reign with the rest of his team running in. MP initiating as the Ember Spirit. Arbed's just able to sit the back and start to rack up the in. Yeah. And especially when they have this, this wall that comes out from the Dark Seer, it's causing just problems to give so much information inside of the fights. He's just clicking the illusions on the supports, and Vici's like, oh god, the poor fate is the Shadow Shaman can't deal with these illusions clicking on him. I see jabs after the Midas queuing up the uh, Lotus Orb. So ready to, to offer those sort of outplays. If he's able to put that down onto to one of his key core. Heroes, it's, it's certainly it's, it's going to make this Viper think twice about going on someone. It's going to make this terribly think twice about Sundering someone. It's going to make yeah. this Shaman think. There's so much single target spells from VG Gaming that suddenly they'll have to hold off on. Yeah, it can definitely be a great pitch to pick up. We even see DJs queuing it up too. So it's it just so good has, this game. Yeah, has so many different uses it can do. And Ice Ice Ice, he has these Greaves finished up. He's actually approaching the Ooh. Crimson Guard too. Take the swap up, but the Remnant Dodge is there. Dodging the Magic Missile. Still with the track. They'll try and look to chase down. DJ will with the stun. But MP still at a decent enough distance to keep himself safe as it seems. Another surge from Ice 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 gets MP out of there. That's the meta used. I think as soon as meta goes down, Fnatic can look to take a fight again. Even though I believe the BKB is finished now on Paparazzi, that's that's their big team fighter for Paparazzi that should get in. And Fnatic, they, they just want to play fast. They've got 35 seconds left for that Wrath of Nature, so they're going to probably push out the lanes before they have, till they have that one available, and then they can look to actually just take the fight to Vici. I think they've got the Vanguard done on Ice 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 as well. So we've already yeah. seen how well Ice 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 has been able to get in on the front line, set up with the vacuum wall. Now it's going to be even easier. 2,000 HP, Greaves Vanguard. Yeah, you're not. He could, he could just walk into the front of the fights. Yeah, you're not killing this guy very easily at all unless you completely isolate him. This, this Nether talks. I mean, Viper is is actually pretty uh, scary to play when you're playing versus Nyx Assassin because you can't control your damage that you're doing. So you're gonna get stunned pretty much every single time in these fights because of Spike Carapaces. 
like we're mentioning, Fnatic, they've got their Wrath of Nature up. They know their, their, the Metamorphosis is on cooldown. They're just looking to make these plays. They even have this deep aggressive ward, so they see that the TB is not even close to the bottom lane at all. See if they can catch there. Another fades there in the trees. They want something ideally bigger. There's the spike carapace, as you say, setting up for the opening onto this Viper. They'll surround him there on top of him. Follow ups there with the vacuum wall onto the two of them. That's DY and Ori dead. Ice, ice, ice again. Consistently landing these vacuum wall combos. He's making it look so easy. And DJ, there it is. Just literally, as soon as we're talking, as soon as I was talking about it, it's like that carapace. It's really so scary to play as a viper. You have to be so careful when you're backing up. You're throwing your nether toxins on the floor. It's now that 5k gold advantage for Fnatic has hit. Also, that that experience too. We're approaching 10,000 experience lead for them. It's just, it, it almost feels like if in your mind there's any chance that you are going to want to retreat and not take the fight. You, you just cannot throw nether toxins around. No. It's, it's going to be the, the result of your death every single time, especially when it gets to the point where they have sort of any, any mobility items to, to catch him even easier. I'm looking at these net worths of Fnatic. They don't have a five. They're actually a, they're going to transitioning to five cores pretty much here in this game. This Nyx Assassin as well as this Nature's Prophet, they're, they're gaining on the Ember Spirit. So everybody has their own types of items here. While you look at the other side, a Vengeful Spirit, DY, he's pretty much just like a walking wave of terror, stands around with the aura, and then just a swap provided for his team, which is still quite a lot here for DY. He doesn't really need too many items to do his job as a Vengeful Spirit. But definitely under a bit of gun, under the gun here, as we, you know, as we've been constantly saying, they can't actually set up to go for any of these tower pushes because of the pace that Fnatic's setting. So mid tier one for Fnatic, three quarters HP. Same thing with that top tower. It's at half HP. So they are just, always having to use their Metamorphosis and their Serpent Wars defensively. Full Crimson Guard on Ice 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 as well, so they've got that full team fight potential to, to help defensively against Paparazzi. Top lane, though, yeah. fades in, gets the catch out onto MP. Damage is there easily from Paparazzi with his Metamorphosis. DJ's leading in, though. We'll see if Fnatic can try and strike back on this. They get the opening stun, jump four from Ibeck, post down the sand, and he's burning the mana. That's going to be a dead Terra Blade for sure after he comes out of that Astral. They'll hunt down Fade in the trees, get the Shaman here as well. They'll take that. Sure, they lost MP but they get that huge kill. Paparazzi will still continue to be so far ahead. Yang will be able to snipe the courier, but Paparazzi dying, that's the big one. He was the one, as you can see, on that net worth that was this huge core. He was very much ahead of anybody else in the game. Yeah. Anytime Fnatic can kill him, they know they, that they themselves are getting a step closer to winning this one. Absolutely. And it, the thing is, in that fight too, it's like they used the ODLT, but it's perfectly fine because meta was used. So you're matching your cooldowns. So they pretty much have like, the same cooldown on that ODLT as well as that. And the way they executed it, DJ stuns out of invis, and then they just do everything to make sure that Sunder and BKB does not go off. Oh, DJ, he's got the dust. He's going to miss the stun. They have the Astral, though, from Arbed. That'll buy time for MP to come in with the chains, locking down Yang. Yang will fall. Another kill for MP. They're just running around the map looking for, just looking to fight. Even though they don't have their old deal, they know how powerful they are. And they're actually bringing out the Roche. They don't really have the greatest ways to do it. Jabs has a Blightstone. He has, he actually has a Lotus already finished. Yeah, so they're quick. I can think they do it pretty safe with the Treants. It's yeah. going to take a little bit of time, though. It's just, it, I think the biggest thing is they know that there's no way Vici can test this. Vici already used Metamorphosis earlier, and yeah, the, the rest of their damage is negligible in comparison. The TB can't actually walk into a fight without that meta available. So, free rush. Uh, yeah, not, as, not as slow as I thought it would actually be. A little bit faster because of that, you know, Blightstone and just how many items they've actually picked up already in early on. Level 19 on Abed. Look at these levels, 15, 19, 17, 16, 14. Look at the difference in comparison. It's a level 15, five position. Yang now has actually, he's, the, he's actually the lowest level in the game, I believe, on the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, after having such a good start as well on that bottom lane, Yang. Yeah, he is, he is the lowest level. And he's been, I mean, he's been, he's been doing his job. He just got picked off a couple times in and the fights. Back-to-back back deaths. Yeah. You know, being just three, six, and five, you know, a lot of those deaths, they, they, they just happen consecutively. He, yeah. he was definitely a, in a positive KDA for, for the early sort of 15 minutes of this game, but it's all turned around on him. Lane Arbet, able to push in and siege onto this tier two. The, the exchange is going to be made down bottom. Paparazzi does find a tier two tower himself. Metamorphosis back up in a second. He's just going for the straight damage build. Just wanted to do as much as possible during his BKB duration. He knows he has to kill them pretty much during that. Otherwise, the fight's going to be very tough for them. As we saw earlier, the kind of the definition of how it would happen if Fnatic's able to disengage and re-engage the way they were, the fight's going to not go well for Vici's. They're looking to back up here. Fnatic, they are smoke trying to catch something. We said they're always looking for these fights. 
Eyes on MP to find that opening change, but there's the full lineup of Ichigami here. DD Rune is going to be available for Fnatic to grab, though, so MP's got that bottled up. They'll continue to wrap around with the smoke, Fnatic. Vichy Gaming, they're still in the jungle. They are on the high ground. Fnatic got the low ground smoke, will dispel. Fnatic know what's up, they'll pop the dust, seeing if Yang was around, but still it's just Vichy Gaming being there. Up on the cliffs, oh, Arbet, he's gonna jump straight he in. Hexed. He's getting immediately hexed, he needs help now, he needs him fast. Is he gonna get the vacuum balls down? But that's gonna be Arbet down the walls, but he has that Aegis. Ready for round two, Paparaz, he pops the bed of the BKB. Will be able to kill off DJ, but they've lost the Shaman. MP Remnant dodging away from Paparazzi. Arbet, he has to get away. The damage from this Terra Blade cannot be understated. As Arbet stands by the shrine, Paparazzi's BKB has worn off. There'll be a buyback with the Shaman. Fade with that buyback. He's able to get back in off of the Hex. The Shackles onto the OD. They've killed off Arbet. It's a double kill for Paparazzi. They're still good to go for more. A triple kill for Paparazzi as they kill off Jabs as well. Ice, ice, ice. He's got to try his best to search away. The track's upon him. Jump forward again. Fade. The Hex. The Shackles. He's locked down. Another Fiji Gaming. They'll take four as Fade with a beautiful buyback helps turn that fight around and get Fiji Gaming in prime position to push up to the base. There's four dead, only Arbed has buyback available. The damage coming out from Paparazzi in that fight. He did 10,000. He did pretty much everything they, for they his team. They're going for tier 4s. Vici Gaming oh shoving God. the lanes in, looking to do as much critical damage as they can. They buy a, they buy a Vlad too. And, the, there's no buyback on Ice Ice Ice. There's no buyback on Jabs. Is it? Is this ha it, it looks like they have it. They actually have to buy back on Arbed. DJ. He'll get the stun on the two, then there's the Viper from Arbit. Oh, oh my god! Oh, they're holding! They're holding! Double kill for Arbit! That's three dead. Paparazzi's actually brought back, but there's no way that he gets over here. Triple kill for Arbit! That's VG Gaming looking to have jumped the gun a little bit there, trying to close out the game, but they end up feeding so much back towards for Vlodatic. As they, they don't even claim the racks. They just went straight in for the base. I was a little ambitious. I mean, I, I guess they figured that some of the buybacks were there. Maybe they assumed that Arbet didn't have his. Maybe they thought that he, he, he spent out, but it wasn't the case. I mean, that that play, it, that, that, I mean, that, well, that was, uh, yeah. We call those the high risk, high reward. I guess so. That's, uh, yeah, oh, a bit of a question mark there from Vici Gaming. I mean, that's, yeah. that whole play with, with Fade and Paparazzi, that was, it, it, that was fantastic, and then it just turned into a bit of a... I mean, you guys know the emotes. It's, uh, I don't know what happened there. Vici Gaming, I mean, they got the tier fours, but they're, they could have been in an amazing place. They could just have momentum swinging. I think they probably were just like, we can only get one set of racks. We want to get more because the yeah. other two ha lanes have tier one still available. I guess that had to have been their mentality. Maybe they thought the OD didn't have buyback, but yeah, not the case. And now Fnatic, they didn't actually lose the most of value. I mean, sure, their throne is exposed, but they didn't lose Raxes, and they didn't. it swings back into their favor in that. They, the end they of that still experience. have tier ones in two lanes. I mean, that, yeah. you know, I guess that's why Vici Gaming did want to try and push for more. Then you know yeah, exactly. they weren't going to find anything else from the base, but that's that's a that's a risky play to make. And that was like the dream situation too for Vici, right? I mean, that the way fight Paparazzi went so well was, for them. Yeah, Paparazzi was literally positioned perfectly. He was. They got the instant disable on Abed. Abed literally did nothing in that first fight when they got him taken out with the Aegis. Both times when he respawned, he got controlled again. So Vici, they kind of just have to do that again. Get that high ground advantage, be able to position Paparazzi with these other heroes just standing in the front lines to protect him. Yeah, I guess Vici game as well just overestimated sort of the, the advantage they felt they had. I, I don't think they expected to die that quickly to sort of Abed's damage output as he came back in with that buyback. I mean, I thought they might have it too. I didn't know. I didn't think Abed was actually going to be able to get into that buyback position there, but... Was able to. He caught them off guard. Just BKB blinked in. No opportunity for a hex or a disable there from the side of Ichi. VG game, of course, still with Paparazzi in a very, very strong uh, position. Yeah. Just now, I mean, this. I mean, Abed got so much farm out of this. I mean, he got so many levels too. He's moving from like level 19 to 23. Now refresh him. If he just drops, if he drops a double seven, double, seven, double yeah. ulti will probably just kill Paparazzi here I, I, that, that, until he gets Gotti. Yeah, I think this is just a team fight win. If he's able to land that on multiple heroes with the double ult. This is the, this is, I think them, they're, they're trying to catch Vici really off guard here. They know that the paparazzi expended, he's spending buyback. So if they catch this terribly, yeah. it could go the other way very quickly. So what they can do. What, what is the buyback status for Vici Gaming as a whole? Do a few of them have it down still? It was just paparazzi and fade, right? Paparazzi and fade, yeah. Paparazzi for five minutes, fade four minutes. All right, five minutes and then four minutes, yeah. Back up to the base. A little bit of afraid here. 
if they don't see anything on the side of Fnatic. Gang. I scanned it here. Ooh. I sent you down there. I'm going to find Jang with that. Smart scan there from Fnatic. <laughs> Look at him. He kills the range creep, kills a melee creep. He's like, I got to try to get some farm before I die here. But inevitably, will go down. A good breed there at the map from Fnatic, knowing that Yang was around in that location. Towards mid, Fade starting to push out. Arbed looking for blink opportunities, but Fade stays hidden in the trees. They, this got it. they got They saw him for a second, though, with that ward that they had. Nice, nice, nice. We'll force the wave in. Oh, but you can see Fnatic still wants, they still want to take this fight. They still want to try to hunt. He's got that full Scardy there, Pepper. Yeah. He's, he's got a lot of stats to burn through. Yeah. Now the intelligence, you know, he has a little bit better versus the the OD. Abed doesn't really have the most intelligence with the item choice. He only has 114. Doesn't have any like, like Mystic stat or He only has the attributes coming from his drum as well as his wand. Smoke up here from Fnatic. Ice, ice, ice. Leading in towards the high ground. He's got that talent online. So that extra bit of vacuum AoE is going to help him for the setups already. You've seen him be nailing sort of vacuum into wall time and time again. Yeah. He's going to be able to do it even easier now. We got to watch how much damage the illusion does do as well, because Paparazzi actually almost killed himself with the illusion in that last situation too. So now he's even stronger with his stats. So yeah. we got to watch that one. The trance gets some vision on the high ground. TJ's going to commit. They're looking to go straight in. There's the two sided his eclipse down. DY, he was able to get the swap off though. Getting Paparazzi out of the side. Now Paparazzi can pop the metamorphosis in the BKP. He'll start to move in. The Crimson Guard from Ice 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 protecting some of the teammates of Fnatic for now. They'll get jabs by the looks of it. It's is the one left behind. The rest of Fnatic just get out of there as soon as they see that BKB and Metamorphosis is popped. But certainly could have gone a, a whole lot worse though for VG Gaming. DY with the quick plays, just getting Paparazzi so away from that combo. It was actually so fast, but I think the first time these clips actually did hit him. And it I think didn't one really, of them did. It didn't do like any damage because he just picked no. up the, the Scotty. So he's actually sitting at what 89 int in comparison to the 100 and I think it was like 108 when the uh, ulti dropped from the OD. So it's actually only not really doing a whole lot of damage unless he builds up the stacks from the Arcane Orb. You see just the two supports, one apiece going down either side. See if they can make any moves off the back of it. MP is going to be able to keep that split push pressure up. Does have to be careful with the Shaman being in the game. As you know, a lot of the times Fade's got to be ready with that jump, with that reach that he has. Oh. It has to be. He still has to be pretty careful, like I was saying. He doesn't have the most intelligence, so now he's going to have to try to build up for it, going back for that Hex that he really desperately needs. So it's, it's a little weird to see him go for this Refresher. It doesn't really do that much damage when he's, he does pop it off, unless he builds up those Arcane Orbs. But the nice thing at least does give him is not just the double sanities, it's the double BKB. So he's actually able to walk away from this Shadow Shaman. Because if he does get locked down at all, Paparazzi is hitting it ridiculously hard with that Venge near him. And Ice 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 has his Hex, and she, you know, once there's the, the Hex on, on Arbit as well, the, the refresher, there's the potential for three targets to instantly get Hex at the start of the fight. Yeah. Paparazzi still has long BKB though. It's still eight seconds for this Terraboid. So he should have a little bit of protection for himself. As long as he's quick with the, the BKB reactions. And so far, yeah. Paparazzi, he's, he's been right on the ball. Radiance top tower has Instant reactions and very readily able to turn fights around and make sure that Fnatic, after sort of uh, a jump in, if they don't, you know, blow up one of the cores, they have to run away. They cannot stand their ground at the moment against this Terra Blade. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm watching DY's positioning a lot. I mean, that last one was so damn quick, but he has to watch out not to be in the range of that vacuum. That's probably the biggest one, so we can get those swaps to be able to position Paparazzi well. You see the Courier is scouting out the Roche from Fnatic. They do know it's available here as MP continues to do the split push. Vici yeah. Gaming just moving as a five. Getting that lane pushed in on the middle Dyer's lane. Bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, finally claiming Dyer's tier one. They're going to be able to go toward that Roche pit here with this smoke. They take it pretty quick with Paparazzi's damage output. Yeah. Fnatic have to get oh, over there straight the away. Oh, the, the wave of terror. He got a glimpse of the courier there up on that. Yeah, Fnatic can't get it quick enough, I don't think. Vici Gaming, they do this Roche down so quickly, especially with the Serpent Jabs, Wars committed. Just in. He's trying for it, but he gets instantly hexed by Fade. DJ will jump in with a stun. Roche down on that beat. He, gets the he steals the Aegis! The wall's gonna be dropped out, Fnatic. They're gonna try and fight this, but the BKBs are out on Orion Paparazzi. Orion Paparazzi backing away. Another slider fist comes out from MP. He charges in. The Remnant on top of DY. He'll get the Venge kill, the chains. Holding up Paparazzi. First down, and his glimpse is down. Arben, BKB popped. Astral holds Paparazzi. Play Shag. Spread it up. Second down, and he's just down. That's gonna be Paparazzi out of mana. He's already used the BKB. That's three by one. coming out for Vici oh, Gaming. Paparazzi my dead. God. Arben on top of Fade. Five dying on Vici Gaming.
Are you kidding me? MP getting in with that Aegis still. I mean, it all happened sort of in slow motion. Roshan died. He was on the you floor. You count the seconds where that Aegis was not picked up by anybody on VG Gaming. Oh, my God. a critical let, mistake. Uh, they did. Nobody wanted it. Nobody grabbed it in time. As now Fnatic, they're pushing in. Three buybacks already used by VG Gaming. And they've got this AoE surge that makes them just chase so fast. And with that wall being put down from the fight, just, VG just had no way that they could take it when Paparazzi's BKB was down. And that's a full buyback. They really want to try and hold the Paparazzi to get the swap out. There's the buyback from Paparazzi. They'll get the vacuum onto the three of them. Oh, Ben's caught on the front lines. Has the defensive Astro. They've lost the Ember Spirit the once. He's going to be back with the second line, Ori. BKB used Paparazzi as well, competing with the BKB. They'll get that OD. Ah, oh, Ben buys back straight away, wanting to rejoin the fight. MP. Slide the fist has a remnant gets away it fade he's on the outside Let's see if they can catch him tj with the two-man stun jab starting to poke back at yang vg gaming up to the high ground chains on yang dj he's in as well the vendetta hit that's gonna be one dead for good 100 seconds yang's out abed's back here now too doesn't have any of his ulti ulties available has his bkb though and now paparazzi, gaming, they're, they're all playing without buybacks yeah paparazzi no matter two for 60 seconds so sure they have this high ground advantage but not having that you're gonna see fanatic just try to see here they've got crimson guard available too for protection still yeah. quite hard versus that nether toxin spam Henry, though, does also have to be careful the spike carapace has continued to cause issues. They can get to the back lines. If there's an opportunity, the say, oh, we start DJ. He's straight in. They're on top of the Viper. Or he's in trouble. The wall's down upon him. Grizz will be popped. Or he's stunned and given life by Paparazzi. He'll keep Ori safe. But the tier three tower in the mid lane goes down. They're pushing on here, Fnatic, trying to take these mid racks. Taking out all the Serpent Wards, too. The, the Bounty Hunter's still dead for 50 seconds. They're trying to get the most possible out of all this. 30 seconds until the first OD ult is up in first. And they again, just surge in. The surge forward. BKB's back up from Warrior. Paparazzi is welcoming him with a BKB. They'll turn towards D. They'll get the Nyx assassin. Can they get the ball? They'll lose DY. MP still alive. Slide for the Arbet. Defensive Astro. He's got to be carefully bought back for this one. Back in MP. Change out of Paparazzi. They're vacuum onto the three of them. But they're fully low fanatic. They've got to be careful. DJ stuns out onto Paparazzi. And they'll slide a fist being cast out by MP. But they're Arbet. Fade. The shackles onto Arbet. Means that Leone's dead for good. Triple kill for Ori. As Arbet dead for two minutes, VG Gaming now maybe their turn to strike back. They've also found DJ, DJ no, he's able to get away with that Vendetta movement speed. Straight down the mid, Paparazzi actually popped the meta right at the end of the fight. Like as soon as the OD died, he actually popped the meta. So by the time he reaches the base, it's gonna be actually be over. But they get that big kill on the OD from it, Fade getting that catch and oh my god, these fights. It's 100 seconds and they were able to defend. The racks do not go down in that middle lane. That's a, that's a full hex on jabs. Full hex on jabs. Shiva's got complete on MP. I mean, we're talking about the five cores coming out. It's really looking to be like that for, for Fnatic as they're all scaling incredibly hard. It's Paparazzi. He stepped forward here. He's they're gotta be him. careful. Can't go 425. There's the hex. Jabs in with the hex purchase. Straight away. Another hex. Paparazzi. Paparazzi needs help. And he needs it now. Is he going to get the vacuum back against the big enemy off? Paparazzi back on the ball. Turns to watch jabs. The hex. The shackles onto DJ. DJ's trying to get out there for lost jabs. He's dead. DJ turns with the stun. But again, hex stop. They'll chase him down. They'll get a third. Fade. The shackles. He's caught MP. VG Gaming. They'll fight the Ember as well. With four dead, only MP with the buyback available. We see the Darkseer wall illusion of the Viper is actually pulling the whole creep wave, though, so there's no wave in the mid lane for them to get a push out of this, out of these three kills. No, Ice 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 is keeping the game open by doing this. Ice 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 making the heads up play with the pressure on. Ice 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 continuing to keep it cool, as the name would suggest. Man, they, they were so close to actually bringing down this Terror Blade before the BKB Thunder comes out. Radiance middle tower. Paparazzi's got the full refresher ready for the next fight. The double yeah. BKB durations. Yeah, and he's got, he hit the level 25 before that fight actually happened. So that's under that cooldown. Five seconds if they can't actually bring him down in time. And still throughout the chaos, just how farmed this Terror Blade is. Yeah. 27,000 net worth on Paparazzi. He's 10k above anybody else on Fnatic's team. They've got time now. They've got Arbet back in the game. Are they going forward again? They're, are they going forward again for the base? It is exposed. They've got Snurping Wards They're on dropping it. for the Hex. The Sanities. They're straight in on top of them. Arbe committed with the BKB. The second Sanities is down. They brought DY down very low. DY's gone. They've got to find some of these calls. Don't Paparazzi. BKB. Sunder. He takes the life of MPs. Back up to full. MPs dead for two minutes. The Shackles are going to fade with the control. Arbe's dead. VG Gaming. They've done it here in game two. GG is called. And they will bring the series 1-0.